it'll be about 7,200 square feet, full service veterinary clinic for small animals. She employs 10 people in the local community. She purchased an acre north of this site with the hopes of expanding in the future and maybe looking at large animals down the road. They're currently on Highway 69, just behind the Blue Hills Cafe. So they're ready for a new building that she'll take ownership in. They're renting right now. We actually just received our bids, and the bank approved it. The officer noted that the bruising on her cheek was so deep it could be seen from the inside of her mouth. The victim also made statements to the officer that caused concern, and Child Protective Services was notified. The child was taken to Yavapai Regional Medical Center for a medical evaluation. The investigators found this unbelievable because of the amount of bruising she had all over her body. They also denied anything related to sexual abuse. According to the investigators, the couple showed very little concern about the four-year-old victim and blamed the injuries on normal childhood mishaps obtained a search warrant for the home that Fullen resides in on Randall Street, and by 4.30, Fullen was in custody. He was not on campus at the time we were investigating the threats, and he was found at home. He was arrested. Weapons were recovered from the home, several firearms. They were in a locked closet. These things are taken very seriously by school administrators, obviously, as is the case with law enforcement. There's just no room to determine whether he intended to carry these out or not. He seemed, based on his past behavior, very serious about the threats. During a search of his father's home, we found a marijuana plant, marijuana, and some paraphernalia under his care and control. So that was also recovered and he was charged. But the main focus, of course, was to secure him and these weapons. We did get information as to the location of the key from Fullen's dad and did secure the weapons. Also found some weapons at another home down the road where Fullen lives. So all weapons that he would have access to are in custody as is Fullen.